Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about pointing first Sunday of current year. To understand this topic, we need to understand three functions. I will discuss these three functions very briefly and then we will go into our main topic. The first function we need to know about is today's function. Today's function is pretty straightforward. Whenever we use today's function, we get today's date. And here I'm also using format so that I can see my date in a particular format I want. Let's quickly run this. And here I can see that it has formed today's date. That is 13th April. 2021 to sum it up to use today's functions all we need to do is we need to say today and open parenthesis and then close parenthesis that's all now let us look into another function that is weekday function and here i am applying weekday function on today function whenever we have a nested function like this always remember that First, the innermost nested function will give the result and then outer function is applied on that which means first today function works in here and it gives today's date and then weekday function is applied. Now let us quickly run this and understand what weekday function does and here you can see the value of this weekday function is 3. So we got a 3. What does 3 here means? To understand that we need to understand what does these numbers actually mean. Whenever we run a weekday function on any date, if we get a value of 1, it means it's a Sunday. 2 means it's Monday. 3 means it is Tuesday. And 4, 5, 6 means other days. And finally, 7 means Saturday. So weekday here are represented in number starting from 1 and ending at 7. Now let us quickly look into another function and that function is intnx. And this is one of interval functions. There are two popular interval functions in SAS. The first one is intck and the second one is intnx. For our purpose, we will be discussing only on intnx function. intnx function means int means interval and nx means next. What does this function when we apply on any date it does is it gives the date for next interval and what this means we can understand through an example. This interval can be year, month or week or any other interval. Let us first look into example 1 here. In the intnx function here, we have 4 arguments, which means intnx function takes 4 arguments. The first argument is year, that is interval which we want to increment. And the next argument is date, from which date we want to do this interval increment. And third argument is increment itself. Here I am giving it the value of 1. Which means I am saying that please increment by 1 year. And the finally the fourth argument is shift index. What this does is it tells where to increment. For example, here I have given the value of B. To understand this, let's quickly understand all of these things once again. So we want to increment from today's date and the increment value is 1. Means we want to go into the next year. But where in the next year is decided by this shift index? I am saying B. B means beginning of next year. Which means what it will do is it will take me to January 1st, 2022. If instead of B, I have kept E, it means end. Please take me to the next year, but end of the next year, that is January 2022, December 31st. If I used S, which means same, 
it would take me to the same date that is 2022-04-13. Now let us quickly look into example 2. In example 2, we are again using int nx function but here our interval is weak. And then what we are doing is we are incrementing from today's date and the increment value is 1. That is we want to go into the next week and our shift index value is e. That is we want to go to next week but at the end of the week. Now let us quickly look into how we are going to solve the problem which we have discussed earlier. To solve any problem there are always more than one option to do them. And what I am discussing is one of them. And before going into solving of anything, the first important thing is to think how we can solve that particular problem. Here our title of the topic was finding first Sunday of current year. What strategy I have thought through is first let me go to the beginning of the year and then I will find whether that is Sunday or not. If it is not Sunday, I will do some other manipulation so that it goes to Sunday. Now let us change the strategy into the code. How I can go to the beginning of the year that is simple. Here I am creating a new variable and I am saying start underscore off underscore year and here I am applying int nx function and here the interval for me is year and I am applying that on today function means today function gives me today's date and I want to increment by year and if you see here what exactly I am incrementing is by zero years which means I do not want to go outside of the year but I want to be in the same year but I have my fourth shift index as B which means the increment I want is zero but I want it to go to the beginning of the year. So I have used B. This piece of code wherein I have not incremented year but I have told it to go to beginning of year will take me to January 1, 2021. And as I have moved the value to the beginning of the year, I need to check if it is Sunday or not. To check whether it is Sunday or not, we can use simple if then statements. Here what I have done is I have written if weekday on start of the year equal to 1 then Sunday equal to start of the year. So what does this mean? As from the earlier discussion if you remember weekday function when we apply on any date value if it gives the value of 1 it means Sunday. If it is already Sunday what we can do is we can just simply assign this value to a new variable Sunday. So the next step what we have to make sure is if the starting of the year is not Sunday, we need to write a condition for that. So if you think about it, if the beginning of year is not Sunday, that means it could be either from Tuesday to Saturday. So to go to Sunday, we need to go to next week. And if you remember, our weekday one means Sunday. That is beginning of the week. So to do that, all we need to do is, we need to say else Sunday equal to int nx week start of the year 1b. What does this do? This increments to the next week and it takes to the beginning of next week. That is Sunday of the next week. In this way, we can find first Sunday of current year. Now let us quickly run this code and see our result. And if you see, the Sunday is 03 Jan 2021. Now let us quickly look and see whether what I am talking is right or wrong. 
Now I am going into January 2021 and Sunday is Jan 3, 2021. Now that we have seen how to do this, we need not create two variables that is start of year and Sunday. All we can do this in one single simple step. Instead of start of year, here, here and here, what we can do is we can replace this with this piece of code and that is what I am doing here. Wherever there is a start of here, all I have done is I have replaced with this piece of code. And now let us quickly run this one too. And here you can see that it is again 03 Jan 2021. By simply understanding some functions and also applying a certain strategy and logic, we can solve many of problems which we have. That is the whole idea of this particular video I am making now. That's all for this topic. If you like this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.